Hey everybody, it is time for another Whip It Wednesday. I have a couple projects. I have one completed. I have one almost completed. I have one in the thought process, one that needs to be quilted and bound, and one that needs to be worked on, reworked. I'm going to tell you all about them here in just a minute. Welcome to Whip It Wednesday. So first up on Da -na 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 -na. Whip It Wednesday. Uh, this John Deere quilt is finished. It is quilted. It is bound. Done. 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 I just did some diagonal quilting, some simple diagonal quilting, and um, I just quilted around the edge here and bound it. And this one is done and ready for delivery in about two and a half weeks. So let's move on from that. Next up is this donation quilt. This donation quilt is together. The back is on. I used some of these blocks and this background fabric for the back. Um, it is quilted. I quilted where the blocks came together. I quilted that seam and then I quilted one on either side because from here to here, wherever it is, from here to here was just a little bit too far. It was two, four, Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I want to say it was ten inches, and I like to keep my quilting within nine. So I did down, <clears throat> just stitch in the ditch. I did this, and then I did those two. I have the binding already cut. It's already put together. It's already been sewn in half. Uh, ironed in half. Um, I've just got to trim the trim the quilt and put the binding on and then this one is done. This one needs to be ready for the fundraiser by the I think the either the fifth or the sixth is the fundraiser and I'll give more information on that when I post about this quilt. This one is not really a work in progress. It's a thinking about a work in progress. So I had these this fat quarter it was five fat quarter bundle um, this one has been used and this one has been used. I made a couple masks out of them, but these are still full fat quarters. So I have about four and a half total of those. Then I have this and this is about a yard and I thought it went really well. The uh, grandbaby that's been quilting really likes sugar skulls. So I thought maybe she would like to have these to do something with. I'm sure we can figure something out for those and maybe add on probably not that pink, but I've got yellow, I've got green, I've got purple. I'm sure we can find other colors to add in there. And so maybe she'll get started on that this week. That would be awesome if she could start on another project because she has really been enjoying it. Also still in progress is this um, Halo Bugs Hearts Over Time quilt. It is not any further along than it was last time we talked. I need to rework the pattern because I'm not sure I'm going to use the the four inch hearts around the outside. Just didn't like the way they were coming out and we decided that we needed some border in between here. So once I add the border in, I'm thinking it's going to be big enough without doing the the four inch hearts around the around the outside. I may still use some of those four inch hearts in part of a border, but it won't be the whole border. There won't be three three borders. I was originally planning on a narrow border and then the hearts and then another narrow border, but I'm, I'm working that out in my head. I'm going to have to get it on paper here. Probably this week I'll get working on that as soon as I get the uh, fandom quilt um, quilted, which will be this week because I have the uh, batting now. Also this week I got this uh, huge roll of batting. This is the biggest roll I've ever gotten, but um, I'll use it up. The last time I ordered batting was, I want to say January, and I am out. So I cannot do any more quilt sandwiches and, and quilting until I got more. So I got this. It's 90 wide by 120 yards. So that's a lot of quilts. Or maybe it was 120 wide by 90 yards. Either way, it's a lot of quilts. <laughs> so um, 
Yeah.